Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Benke. Today, let's talk about list in Python. List is kind of array. Actually, it's very simple and it's very robust. Today, I will cover two things. One is how to create a list. Another is how to access the list element. So first, let me create a list. Say I have a car mix right so say toyota honda four right this list our string base what if we have another list that number based one three five say no let's say one three point two and five point nine Right. This is the number base. I have not third list is car and number. Say Toyota one Honda three point two four. 8.4 right let's print them out say car makes print number print car number that's right okay as you can see they all print out out here on the terminal uh, string based, number based, string number mixed, right? Okay, next let's talk about how to access the element. See, I can print out say car number zero. Please remember that the index, if we want to access the list element through the index, the index always start from zero. That's very important. Print car number one. Print car number two. Print car number three. Print car number four print car number five print car number six so how many elements do you have one two three four five six so if i want to start with zero that means i have to end up at a file five here right so as you can see, okay, I print all of them here. Toyota 1, Honda 3.2, Ford 8.4, right? So what if I try an extra one? What will happen? As you can see, I got the error complaint list index out of range, right? So that means I cannot access this, this element. But this way is a little bit I know, like a trivia. Let's let's talk about using four loops. There is an easier way. Say for x in car number, print x. I will talk about more about the for loops in the future. But right now, let's just use very simple for loops to access the element in the list. Let's print. As you can see, they are the same. Two the one Honda three point two four eight point four right. There is a second way to access the list through the index. Say I need to specify the range of this list. So I have here I have the I have the index in the list. 
So my index was bounded by the maximum value, which is the size, the length of my list. Say, let me say test two. Say for loop two. That's right. Okay, as you can see, it's bring out the same thing, just like the first for loop, right? But this way, I can access certain list through the index. But this one is this one is more robust; it's easier. Okay, thank you. That's all I have for you today.